Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the WFLY ET16S, a 16 channels radio controller that features a standard JR module bay. In this video, I'm going to go over its features and specs, test it out, and give you my feedback, which hopefully will help you to make up your mind whether it's a good option for you or not. In terms of packaging, inside the box, along with the radio controller, you can find a quick start guide, an X wrap, and a WFLY RF201S a small sized radio receiver that supports both PPM and SBUS. So WFLY are using their own radio receivers and in addition to the RF201S, the RF209S which is a more advanced radio receiver that supports software upgrade and PWM is available as well. In terms of features and specs, the WFLY ET16S radio controller features a 3.5 inch color LCD screen with a touch interface, whole sensor gimbals, a built-in 2.4 GHz radio transmission module that supports only WFLY radio receivers. Its operating voltage is between 3.5 to 13 volts, and it comes with a battery tray for two 18650 lithium-ion batteries, which are not included. On its backside, you can find a standard JR module bay, which will enable you to use this radio controller with Crossfire R9M, multi-protocol, and similar third-party radio modules. On its sides you can find rubber grips and it has a pretty nice chrome finish. In addition, the weight of the ET16S including two 18650 lithium ion batteries is 783.5 grams, so it is lighter than the RadioMaster TX16S but still has very similar dimensions. As for operating the ET16S, turning it on is done by long pressing one of the power buttons and turning it off is done by short pressing them together simultaneously. Setting up the radio controller is done using the side navigation buttons and touch interface and in order to keep this review relatively short and relevant to most of you, I've decided not to go over most of the settings. Actually since I'm not feeling at my best and I've been postponing this review for a while now, I've decided just to jump ahead and give you my conclusions, so in case you have any specific questions regarding this radio controller, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below and I will do my best to help you out. So basically what I can tell you after testing it out is that even though this is a high quality and very comfortable radio controller, in my opinion it is not a good option for quadcopter users mainly because it is not using OpenTX and I know that not every radio controller needs to use OpenTX but for example if you plan to use an external radio module such as Crossfire you won't be able to configure it and currently the only supported options that will enable you to configure the external radio model using the interface of the radio controller are multi-protocol and R9A models. In addition, as you can see on the model types, there is no multi-rotor option. So for example, in order to use this radio controller with a quadcopter, you will need to adjust the settings of the sticks, which might not be a deal breaker, but still not very user and especially beginner friendly. So overall, priced at around $150, I think that in case you are a multi-rotor and especially a beginner, you should definitely go for the RadioMaster TX16S. However, in case you fly RC airplanes, you might want to check it out. And I think that for that, you will need to check other reviews. Having that said, after talking to WFLY and giving them my feedback, they told me that they plan to release an OpenTX version of this radio controller which is not going to be just software related, so they are going to change the hardware, so maybe my feedback is going to be changed, so hopefully once the OpenTX version is going to be out, I will be able to test it as well. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick review of the WFLY ET16S. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to get into too many details, but again, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll do my best to get back to you. I wish you all happy flying, and see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.